What's up guys, welcome to the Quicks Geek channel. And in today's video we're going to go through negative keyword match types, how to how to understand how to use them, uh, how to find negative keywords, and all that good stuff. So what you're looking at right now is inside a client's Google Ads account. This is a family law lawyer. I believe we actually did the uh, case study for him yesterday. We're looking at last 30 days of data. but there's So there's, there's two things I want to get into before we uh, before we really dive in. So there's actually two different ways you can use negative keywords. You can find them in the campaign data, which I'm going to show you how to do right now. So you already so that you already have a campaign running, you're getting clicks. We're going to go into the data and show you how to find and add negative keywords that way. And also the second way is to use a keyword planner and to um, essentially just do a search and be able to find negative keywords that way. All right, so let's do number number one way first, which is using campaign data. So we'll come into here, last 30 days. You want to have a nice data subset time frame here. So you want to do like 30 days when you're doing stuff like this. You can do every seven days, but it's better to do every 30 to get a bigger uh, list. All right, so you're going to go into keywords, search terms. Now we're looking at our search terms report. Now these are all the keywords that the, the search terms that was typed into Google that triggered one of our ads. Okay, and then either convert it into a lead or not. So if we're scrolling down, you can see here I've already added a few of them. So Patton and Pittman attorneys, this is not our clients. So we don't want our clients' ads showing for them. So how what now what I'm gonna do to add that, you just check the box. You're gonna come up here to add as a negative keyword, campaign level. You want to choose campaign level, then it gives you the match type to use here. Now for this, I always just do exact match, but we want to take the root keyword which is Patton and Pittman. So you're going to copy that. We're going to save this and just add that to the campaign negative list. And what we're going to do is come over here, go into negative keywords. And we're going to get rid of Patton and Pittman. All right, we're going to use phrase match. So by using phrase match, which is quotes, putting quotes around Patman and Pittman, we're telling Google, I got, you could use broad match too. I mean, you could just leave it like this. So what we're doing by putting this in the negative keyword list, we're telling Google, I don't want my ads to show for any search term that has Patton and Pittman or any combination of these three words together. And then you're just going to hit save. And you've added that to the negative keyword list. All right, so let's go back into our search terms. And we're going to find more. So here's another lawyer who's not our client. So you can see we've already added him as a negative keyword, but we're going to take the root keyword here, which is his name. We're going to copy that. Now, obviously, you don't want to keep copying it and going through your negative list and doing it. So what I do, just open up like a uh, Excel doc or even I just use this. This is just AdWords Wrapper, which is AdWordsWrapper.com. It's just a keyword match type tool. And I just build my list in here. So I'll just add Steve in there. We'll scroll down. Female family law attorney. Our client is not a female and doesn't have females. So we're going to take the word female. And we're going to put that in here in our list. So we don't want our ads to show for people looking for female lawyers because we don't have any. Again, we have another guy's name here, another lawyer. We're going to take him. We're going to add him to our list because he is not our lawyer. We don't want our ad showing for that. Female, this one will be covered with the female negative. Here we go, there's another one. So this is how you're going to go through in your data, sift through and find negative keywords, guys. And you got to do this, you should be ideally doing this every week or every 30 days. It's really up to you how fast you want to optimize your campaigns. If you want to do it faster, then do it every week. All right, so keep going down. Military divorce process. All right, so pro I don't want people looking for different types of processes and how things work. I want people looking for a lawyer. So I'll get rid of process. Laws. We don't want people searching for laws. We want people searching for lawyers. Questions for a divorce attorney. 
All right, so we're going to take questions. Now, these are all root. They're called root keywords, root negative keywords. That's what we're finding. So we're telling Google each line, we do not want any ads. We don't want our ads to show for any search that has any of these keywords in it. Social security. Our guy's a family law lawyer, so social security's no bueno. Keep going down. Who gets the house in a divorce in Tennessee? I already added that as a negative. So if you just add that as a negative like that, like we showed you before, add as a negative keyword, it's going to take that exact match, that whole phrase. So your ad will never show for that phrase again. Um, depending on where your client's located or where you're located, your practice is, you could get rid of low income, which we probably should do low income type searches because there are mostly people just looking for free consultations. So that's how we're going to find them in the data. Then all we're going to do is come in here. We're going to copy them. And we are going to paste them into our negative keyword section, which is right here. We're going to save that and we just added our list of negative keywords we found through the data. Now, if you want to go and find negative keywords the other way, okay, so this is on your own to do that. You're going to come up here. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a little wrench icon of tools and settings. Pulls up this drop down box. We're going to go to the keyword planner. We're going to type in our theme for the campaign. So our campaign is a family lawyer, right? So we're going to type in the theme, the main theme. So let's do divorce lawyer, family lawyer, custody lawyer. All right, so the main themes of the campaign, we're going to get results. So the results you're looking at right now are every keyword that Google thinks your ads, your keywords are going to be associated with. So they're showing you, so you're saying, I want these to be my keywords. Google's saying, here's things we think are related to what your keywords are. And you'd be surprised how out of whack this can be, which is how you're going to find your negative. So the first thing we're going to do is just sort all the way to the bottom. So hang with me there. All right. Let's go all the way to the back. And we're going to see what Google really thinks here. All right. So low income custody attorney again. We're going to come in here. We're going to take our low income. We don't want that. But if, remember, if you already add this, you don't have to do that. And you're going to put that in your list. So obviously, you don't need to add the negative keywords twice, but I'm just showing you guys an example how to find them this, that we're using this method. <clears throat> okay, international family lawyers. So let's expand this a little bit. So we don't want the word international unless your client does international stuff, which most don't, so it's a good negative to get rid of. All right, so let's go back. Come all the way back down to the bottom again. We'll work our way up the list, finding negatives as we go. Relocation lawyer, pro bono, there's a good one. So we're gonna take the word pro bono. We're gonna add that to our negative list. Because that's essentially just means free. It's free lawyer. And I don't think your client's going to like getting people calling him and saying that he's a free lawyer. <laughs> These look pretty good. Queens. So if your client's not in Queens, it's probably a good idea to add this as a negative. Again, we got pro bono. Men's child custody, that depends on your client. That's going to have to be up to your discretion. If you have a female lawyer client or you're a female lawyer, then you're definitely not going to want that. All right, where was I? Okay, so you're combing through here and you're trying to find... Let me move this out of the way. Try to find the negative keywords 
to add into your campaign. So obviously you would take Manhattan, any kind of geo stuff. Female, unless you're a female lawyer, your client's female lawyer. We have Queens. Hernando is probably somebody's name, so I would take that, add that to our list. So you guys kind of get the idea. It's it's pretty simple. It's just kind of tedious. You're going to have to go through and just comb through this and build your list out. And then all you're going to do, once you're done, spend the hour doing all that, you're going to come in here. You're going to copy your, you know, whether you're using Excel or some other document, Word doc to just paste your keywords. You're going to come here. You're going to copy them. We're going to go into our campaign. Into negative keywords. You're going to hit the little plus sign. And you're going to add the keywords. Hit save and you're done. That's really it. Um, the two main ways to find and add negative keywords is that. It's you know finding it through the campaign data of what's coming in. And it's using the keyword planner to find more of it. Now, when it comes to the match types, so there's a few different match types you can use when adding negative keywords. There's exact match, which is brackets. So let's say we have pro bono. If you just exact match pro bono, Google's going to make sure your ad does not show for just the search pro bono. Only that, okay? So the word pro bono you write, your cert you will not show for. If someone types in, you know, family lawyer Tennessee pro bono, your ads are still going to show. Okay, what you're doing with exact match, you're telling Google, I exactly do not want this exact term to show, to trigger an ad. That's what you're telling them. So when you do phrase and phrase and broad are pretty much the same, in my opinion. When you do phrase, you're telling Google, I don't want any search term that has the words pro bono in it to show. And that's broad too, will be the same. Okay, so what do I mean by that? So if someone searches family lawyer pro bono, it's not gonna trigger our ads because the words pro bono are somewhere in that search phrase. And that's the same with broad match, okay? Now you can also do a modified broad match which is just overkill in my opinion, but it's the pluses. And you're telling Google, I don't want my ad to trigger for any search term with the word pro or the word bono in it. So it's pretty much the same thing, but that's pretty much the simple explanation of how to use the match types. Honestly, I usually just do phrase match for most of mine, just because I don't, it covers mostly everything. Or you can just do broad match, which you can see in my campaign I have a lot of. And all the exact matches are usually just ones I've added from the campaign search report. So you can see a lot of these are just broad match. And we're just telling Google, I don't want my ad to trigger for this stuff. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions about how to use negative match types or how to find more negatives, anything like that, drop them in the comments section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And um, I think that's, that's it. That's all I got for you guys today. All right, later.